What did it do? Baby, your boy's Eddie Jones reaction. You got the rise and fall of Des Bryant. If you didn't know, now you know. I'm a Cowboys fan, diehard Cowboys fan. Came out the room a Cowboys fan. Will always be a Cowboys fan. Cowboys are going to win the Super Bowl 2023. Mark my words. This uh, is, a, is a, a video made by Just Football. You know, check him out. Um, get to it. Understood, brash, and downright dominant wide receiver in his prime. But while his love for the game is what propelled him into the spotlight as one of the best wide receivers of the last decade, on the other hand, it also made him a villain in the eyes of many due to the countless viral videos, injuries, and in his own words, staying true to himself. And sadly, it all led to the demise of the X Factor. Here is the rise and fall of Dez Bryant. Road to the NFL. Des Bryant okay. got his start to life with some unique circumstances. I'm going to say, okay, to a 15 year old mother and a 40 something year old father. Circumstances that she Damn! Never <laughs> I went too far forward. We have having a. I mean. A lot of things from like Lufkin or somewhere in Texas, but uh, or Palestine, somewhere like that. But forty-year-old dad and fifty-year-old mom. That's Dez crazy. Bryant got his start to life with some unique circumstances when he was born to a fifteen-year-old mother and a forty-something-year-old father. Circumstances that should have never came to be. He looks like his mom. Dez was eight years old. His mother Angela had already had three kids and was struggling to take care of them. On wait, what did she? was eight years old, his mother Angela had already had three kids and was struggling to take care of them on a minimum wage salary. So Damn. she did the only thing she knew would make money quickly when she turned to selling drugs. And shortly after, she was busted for her crimes and sentenced to four years in prison. During this stretch, little Dez was sent to live with his father, where his love for the game of football began. Fast forward to his high school years when he relocated to Lufkin, Texas, where he attended Lufkin High School. I knew that. For the Panthers, Dez was a two sport athlete competing in multiple track and field events while dominating on the gridiron. His rare combination of size, speed, and strength allowed him to dominate opponents and lead his team to the 5A Texas State playoffs in back-to-back -back seasons. He finished his high school career with a ridiculous 101 receptions, 2,232 receiving yards, and 37 touchdowns. But due to some off-the-field issues, multiple big-time colleges strayed away from Dez after he was labeled as an uncontrollable hothead by some high school recruiting experts at the time. But his talent was undeniable. And he was still regarded as a four-star recruit by Rivals.com, holding offers from schools like Texas A&M, Oklahoma State, and Texas Tech. Dez ultimately committed to play football for Mike Gundy and the Oklahoma State Cowboys, Damn. mainly due to their wide receiver coach, Gunter Brewer's instrumental development of Randy Moss while he was at Marshall. During his career at Oklahoma State, Dez Bryant was a day one starter and quickly impressed the college football world with his freakish abilities because he did everything for the Cowboys. And Oklahoma State fans quickly learned that every time number one touched the ball, he was adding six to the scoreboard. Punt it to him, six. Third and long, six. Red zone, six. I mean, he truly was a touchdown machine. So much so that in his sophomore season, he scored three or more touchdowns in four of the 13 games he appeared in, making his everlasting mark on every game. Game. He was widely regarded as the best wide receiver in the country, and opponents hated to match up against him. But even though he endured much success at Oklahoma State, it came with his drawbacks as well. The first was when he met primetime Deion Sanders during the offseason going in his junior year, and he was invited by the Hall of Famer to work out with him at his stunning 112-acre home just outside of Dallas, Texas. And Damn, that's a nice-ass home. Shit! Only a fool would turn down learning from one of the greatest cornerbacks the game has ever seen. During the workout, though, it was rumored that Dion's former agent and longtime friend Eugene Parker was there and that he met and spoke to the Oklahoma State receiver. And while this is legal now due to the new NIL rules, in 2009, this was a clear NCAA violation. And somehow, the NCAA caught wind of this meeting and brought the young star in to investigate. And sadly, during this investigation, Dez decided not to fully disclose what happened at Dion 
John's house, which only made matters worse for him. And after three games into his junior season, he was ruled ineligible for the remainder of the 2009 season. What? To fully disclose his interaction with Deion Sanders to the NCAA. At the time, this was the worst possible outcome for Dez, as he was easily considered the best receiver in college football and a dark horse to win the Heisman Trophy before his suspension. He finished his career in school. Nah, they must give him a head start. The this, yeah, he gave him a head start. His suspension. He finished his career fast, no in Stillwater with an insane 147 receptions, 2,425 receiving yards, That's actually and 32 nice. total That's touchdowns very nice. in only two full seasons. Just imagine if he was able to play his junior season. After being ruled ineligible for the remainder of his junior year, Dez Bryant officially declared for the 2010 NFL Draft. And from there, he started to train for the NFL Combine, essentially getting a head start on all the other prospects. So everyone had high expectations for the former All-American. And sadly, at the NFL Combine, Dez didn't have his best performance at all. He reportedly showed up with a 10-man entourage, and his ego was so big that many bystanders thought he was an NFL player already. But to make matters even worse, he left his cleats in the hotel room and had to be supplied with new ones. And as crazy as all this sounds, this happened before they even started testing. And the testing wasn't much better either, when he produced worse numbers than many teams expected. And it wasn't just the on the field stuff either, the interviews as well. Heading into the 2010 draft, several teams didn't even have a draftable grade for Dez anymore, due to his undeveloped life skills that were discovered during the interview process. So when the Dallas Cowboys traded up with the New England Patriots to select him in the first round, I don't know why we don't, this, is why, this, is, this is why GMs get fired, man. This is why GMs don't know what the hell they're doing. This is why you have teams like the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Miami Dolphins. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, not so much. That's why you have teams like the Jacksonville Jaguars, teams like Carolina Panthers, um, who else? Uh, teams like the Detroit Lions, uh, GMs who, who are worried about everything else besides what the hell people are doing on the football field, man. Well, I don't know. He has a kind of an outgoing personality. I don't know if it'll mesh well with the team. Uh, can he fucking play? Come on now. The rise. After Come on now. Five year. Come on now. These in, the, these in NFL shopping. scouts. I can do what they stores. do. Y'all should see me on the mic career. contract with the Cowboys and, uh, owner Jerry Jones and Madden, announced bro. that he wanted Dez to don Wade the historic number 88, a number that was previously worn by two Hall of Fame wide receivers and Michael Irvin and Drew Pearson, which added more pressure to the shoulders of the first round pick. But Dez was ready for the spotlight. In his NFL debut against the Washington Redskins, he set the Cowboys franchise record for the most receptions in a player's first game when he hauled in eight. And from there, he quickly established himself as the X-Factor for the Cowboys. Whenever they needed a game-changing play, Dez was right there with a much-needed touchdown. He truly was the best 13, player. When he suffered a fractured ankle and was placed on injured reserve, prematurely ending his rookie season. And while this was the first That's injury in his young Andrew. career, they would play a big role throughout the rest of his career. After recovering from his ankle injury, Dez Bryant's childhood dream had finally come true when he was officially named a starter for his favorite team growing up. And from there, Dez quickly established Ascended into one of, if not the best red zone threat in the entire NFL. The best. Fans frequently witnessed his signature touchdown celebration. His numbers continued to improve over the years, unlike the Cowboys' win total that remained at eight till 2014 when they both were tops in the league. And at this point, Dez was arguably a top five wide receiver in the entire league. And was the amazing part about all his accomplishments up until this point was the fact that he was dealing with some grueling injuries the entire time. Broken fingers, a sprained MCL, and a back injury that reportedly immobilized him at times, according to some cowboy insiders, which is absolutely insane. The X Factor. Entering I mean, that's the every final year NFL of his rookie contract, Dez had the most productive season of his entire career, being selected to his second Pro Bowl in back-to-back -back seasons, and was even named a first-team All-Pro. For the first time in his career, his production finally translated to wins, as the Cowboys made the playoffs for the first time since 2009. In his playoff debut, Dez Bryant was largely unproductive due to the Detroit Lions blanketing him with double coverage all game. But due to the attention the Lions paid to Dez, they neglected everyone else which allowed the Cowboys to storm back in the second half to win 24 to 20. In the divisional I remember that. round, now this right, team. this right here, man, man here, man, man, this here, man. Nah, man, this here, man. Oh man, this catch, bro. 
I think even Green Bay Packers fans can admit that this was a catch, man. This this, this right here is Green a cross. And this game is going to forever right be known for what occurred late in the game on fourth and two when Dez Bryant bobbled the ball as he stretched out to the one yard line trying to gain every inch for his team. But after the referee initially marked the ball at the one yard line, Packers head coach Mike McCarthy challenged the call, which led to the play being reviewed and overturned. The ref stated that it was an incomplete pass and the reasoning for it being overturned. They got paid the league the league wanted the 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 league wanted to see Aaron Rodgers go on they they knew it was good for uh I don't know why but they did I don't know I don't know you, somebody to tell me what the hell's going on with receiver, this shit man even though they fully this possessed the ball, me now. they must maintain it through the entire catch process meaning that once Dez hit the ground the ball couldn't move and this controversial call will forever be synonymous with Dez Bryant as fans can't help but to think about what could have been following the season on March 3rd 2015, the Dallas Cowboys decided to franchise tag Dez Bryant in order to prevent him from becoming an unrestricted free agent so that the two sides could come to terms on a long-term deal. And on July 15th of the same year, they did just that when they agreed upon a massive five-year, $70 million contract that included $45 million guaranteed that didn't work out by a wide receiver Cowboys. in NFL history at the time. But sadly, after this contract extension, he will battle more injuries than opponents over the next few years. A fractured foot in 2015, a hairline fracture in his knee in 2016 constantly kept Dez on the sidelines. And by the time he was healthy again, new stars were emerging for the Dallas Cowboys when the rookie tandem of Dak oh, Prescott yeah, that was and back. Ezekiel Elliott were leading the Cowboys to their best Bro, season 2016 in Elliott in was playoffs, an absolute... Dez Bryant had easily he was a best Mack performance truck. of the 2016 No one was tackling, you know, Ezekiel Elliott. And he had... The difference between that yards, Ezekiel and this touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott Sadly, now Bryant, is he was shifting one of the and he last had great speed. Games he had for the Dallas Cowboys. The fall. Ezekiel Elliott doesn't have that speed anymore. He can't was a shell of his former accelerate self. No away from the defenders. If he gets out in the open was. space, Instead, just, he was more like they're a running him down. Possession Before he had track speed, he, they, the he, he, was, he was accelerating to past cut, people. And he refused. So at the end of the 2017 season, the Dallas Cowboys released their all-time leader in receiving touchdowns. And at this point in Dez Bryant's career, everything started to go south rather quickly. On November 7th, 2018, now we see the 2018 season, Dez Bryant agreed to a one-year, $1.2 like million dollar contract with too. the New Orleans Saints. And just two days after signing that contract, he tore his Achilles in practice, effectively ending his season without ever playing a single snap That's for the Saints. Tough. And after sitting out for an entire 2019 season to rehab his injury and train for a comeback, he was signed by the Baltimore Ravens just days before Halloween. And throughout the 2020 season, he battled the virus and never was able to show all the work he had put in during the offseason due to the Ravens run first offense present day as of today Dez Bryant is a free agent and has stated multiple times that he would love a reunion with the Dallas Cowboys should the Cowboys that is not with going to happen leader and receive to touchdowns let us know down in the comments what you think and we don't want you back we need to win we need to win a Super Bowl and that makes me my next point Stephen Jones Jerry Jones what the hell are you doing trading Amari Cooper man I don't know what to think about that, uh, but make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on your next. Deuces.